the best Google Form survey templates on this video. Let's go check them out right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you the best Google Form survey templates available on their templates library. All right. So here we go. We are now in the forms dashboard. And the first thing you need to do if you are not in this section is to head on over to Google Forms. To do that, you can be a Gmail, you can be a Google Drive. Click on the menu button here on the top, which says Google Apps. Scroll a, a little bit down here and you'll find this purple icon that says Forms. That is going to take you to this section and you're going to be able to get started building forms here on Google Forms. Now, there's several templates available and to access them, First off, you'll see a few of them here on the top, but what we want to do is click on templates gallery and we'll be able to view all the templates that they have available. Now, the beauty about templates is that they help you get started more easily. And the idea of this is that they will have elements in these templates that you might have a hard time building them and they'll be easy to use once you build it in the template, all right? So the first one that I want to show you, and there's going to be seven of these, is the course evaluation template. Now, this is a survey template based on course evaluation. Now, be aware that you don't have to specifically use it for a course evaluation, but you can take advantage of this template to use the elements that this template has and customize it to your own needs. You can go ahead and select any of these elements and change what you need to do. For example, if I want to change the header image, I can click on the customized theme and I'll find that option here in the header. This is the uploaded image. I can just remove it and add my own. As I mentioned, you can customize it to use your own. Now, I want to take the time to explain to you this particular survey before we jump into the next one, because I want to show you how everything works. And then we'll go through the next one to see the specifics of those surveys. Okay. So first off, we have a description, a title and description, which is the course evaluation. We can just go ahead and remove this and change it to our own. We can remove or keep the description right here. And we have these available elements to modify it. Right. And then we start with the first question, the first element in this survey. And this is a short answer text. If I want to change this, I can click on the drop down menu and there's different styles of questions that I can ask. So I don't have to necessarily keep this one. I can go ahead and modify it so I can change this into a paragraph instead of the short text. Or if I want to change this into a checkbox, I can do so and add my own options. Or I do like the other elements in this template, but I don't need this question right here. I can go ahead and remove it by just deleting this question. And then we have the next one, which is also a short answer, but we're going to skip that. The next one is going to be a multiple choice grid. Now, as I mentioned before, the idea of the template is to help you get started. And, and this helps us, for example, already know what multiple choice grid can do and just change the details of this question. For example, the level of effort, that's the question. We can go ahead and change that. Then we have rows and then we have the columns right here. All of these can be edited and all of these can be removed if not needed. For example, I'll remove excellent there and I'll keep the rest. I'll click on the next element and then we can view the results from the past question here, right? So in this case, I removed the excellent option. Now there's only four. And here, that same thing goes with this one. It's also a multiple choice grid. Next one is also a multiple choice grid and multiple choice grid is a really popular option in the surveys. Okay, here we go. We have a long text. We can see right here. If you want to change it to short or remove it, it's really easy to do so. All right. Now this one is different. This is a multiple choice. And again, we see the options right here. We can add our own options, remove the options that this one has available. And it's just super easy to modify. Now, if we want to add another element, I'll click on this plus button to add a question. And again, we select the type of question that we want to use. Maybe we also want to do a rating. Then we select rating here, select the number of stars in this case, 10. And then we have the option for the icon. It can be stars. It can be hearts or like button, thumbs up, right? And then just ask the question right here. So several available of these, just click on the plus button and you add the ones that you're going to need for your survey. There's also other elements that we can take advantage in this survey aside from adding questions. We can import questions. We can add title and description after this. It doesn't have to be in the beginning. You can add an image. You can add a video to this and you can do it a section. So in case you want to divide this in sections, that is possible and then add more questions. Now, once you are good to go, you like your survey, you like the way you customize the theme, you change the colors and all that stuff. Then we can go into responses and responses. Currently, there's nothing, but we're going to fill this out once to view these responses. Okay. And those will be available here in the sheets that's going to be tied to, right? There's also settings for this. You can turn this into a quiz and then you have options for a quiz. In this case, it's a survey, not a quiz, 
but you have that option there. Next, we have the responses options. So I'm going to click on the drop down menu and we can collect email addresses. In this case, I do want to collect it. I'll do verified. We also have send responders a copy of the response. So whoever fills out this form survey, they're going to receive a response and we can turn this on when requested or always allow response editing so they can come back and edit the response. If you don't want to allow that, go ahead and turn this off and you can limit the times that they fill this out, right? They'll it, this will request a sign in for this purpose. That way they can keep track that they're not filling it out more than once. Okay. Then we have the presentation options here. We can show a progress bar. We can shuffle questions order. That means that they're not always going to be in the same order. They'll be shuffled around. And this is a good idea if this was a quiz, maybe not for a survey, but you have that option available there. You can also disable auto save for all responders. And there's the default settings for this. Once you're good to go, we are going to go ahead and preview this right here. And we're going to fill it out once for testing purposes. Okay. So I'm going to add my name right here, Aguilar. And let me fill this out really quickly. Okay. I am now done responding that one. And we have our first response available right here. Now we'll have a chart for each one of the questions available in that survey. So for example, this was one of the questions level of effort, and we're going to view here a chart of everyone who responded. In this case, I've only responded once and it was satisfactory, but if there was more, we'll view the graphics available there. And that same thing goes for each one of the questions from that survey. We're also going to be able to view the questions here one by one and individual. That means that we're able to view all the submissions available right here to see how they responded, right? So it's super easy to use here, the surveys. Now this is one of the surveys. This is the course evaluation one. There's also the event RSVP available here. As I mentioned before, these are great templates that we can start using right away here on Google Forms. There's also the party invitation template. Now this one is really useful, especially when you are having parties to know if they are going to attend, if they're not going to attend and several questions that we can ask available here. There's also the event registration survey that we can view here. You can see the type of elements that are added here. And again, don't worry about the elements. You can go ahead and remove them, add them, change them and whatever you want to do with the survey. Okay. The other survey that I want to show you that's really popular on Google Forms is time off request, which is a leave form. Again, this is more for working purposes, but you can build this form really easily and start sharing it with your colleagues. All right. Then there's also the customer feedback, and this is super useful to understand how your business is actually performing to know if you're doing good or bad and see what the customer feedback actually is so you can improve your business. And the last one I want to show you is the job application form, which is super useful. If you own your own business and you have new job applicants, then you can just go ahead and share this form add the questions that you need that you think are interesting and important for them to respond and just go ahead and share the link and receive the responses available right here. So these are the top Google form survey templates available here on Google form. Now you can go ahead and jump into Google Forms, start using them right away. But I also want to give you a tip. There's also the option to use a job form that has more templates available and it's highly customizable. Now this is job form and let me give you a quick view of what you can expect right here, especially when it comes to templates. Now, if you jump into job form, sign up, it's free. You can go ahead and jump into templates, go to form templates. And in form templates, there's several categories available. There's over 10,000 templates as of this video. Now, what we want to do is scroll down here and we'll find these survey templates. As of this video, there's 1,893 templates available that you can start using right away. Now, right off the bat, if we click on the preview on these templates, you'll see that they have more customization. They have several questions available several type of elements that we can take advantage of. And again, you can view these templates. And if you like one of these, just go ahead and test it out here. If you like it, see the questions that it has, the elements that it has. And if you like it, go ahead and use the template and it'll take you to the job form builder. Now, as I mentioned before, just like Google Forms, we're able to keep, modify or remove the elements that the template has and even add more, right? So for example, if I click on this particular element and go to properties, I have the properties for this particular element. So for example, what is your gender? I can change the field label from here, or I can just click on this section and edit it on the form. There's the options here. Again, I can edit it from here or straight on the form. So let's just say that I want to remove, prefer not to answer. I can go to remove that, or I can change it or add another one straight from here. And there's several options for this. Uh, options that you're not going to get available on Google Forms, but you will get them right here. There's more available elements here that you can go ahead and edit them, keep them. If I go ahead and remove it, just click remove. And if I want to add a new element, well, I go to the add elements section. So I'll click on this plus option here 
and then I have the basic elements. So I can just go ahead and drag any element inside of here. For example, if I want to ask for the full name in the beginning, I'll just drag it inside of here and we have the full name element added. And if I need to edit and customize this, I'll click on properties and I have the general options and I have the options available. For example, if I want to ask for the middle name, prefix and the suffix, it's available there. If I don't want to ask for that, I can just go ahead and turn these off and we're good to go. So it's super easy to drag all these elements inside of here. So you got short text, long text, drop down, single choice, file uploads, captions, spinners, scale ratings, survey elements, page elements, a lot of elements available. There's also payment gateways. So that means that you can charge for your products, your services, and even request donations with these payment gateways. There's all these available as of this video. And then there's also widgets, several widgets available that are going to make your form really customized and original, right? Once you're good to go, we're going to jump into settings and there's several settings available for job form. You got your title, you got your form status. In this case, it's enabled, but you can disable this. You can disable this on a specific date, submission limit, and you have all these options available. You can encrypt the form data. You got the email notification settings here. For example, the person who fills it out is going to receive a notification. The person who owns the job form account will also receive a notification. You can modify who's going to receive the notification. You can modify how the email content is going to look, the subject and the content. Straight from here, you can add images, logos, etc. all available there to edit. You have conditional logic. You got your option to change the thank you page. You can also redirect them to a link. You got a ton of integrations available here. You got your workflows, job form sign and mobile notifications. And once you're good to go, you set up everything just the way you like it, jump into publish and you get a link that you can share right away. You can open a new tab. You can test it out. You can send it by email. You can create a QR code, share this on social media. You got all these available options to embed it on a website. You got AI form agents, assigned forms, emails, pre-fill, PDF, and just a lot of options available. But just by clicking on the copy link button, going into incognito mode, and let me show you this form. So this is the form that we've just created from the template, and we are ready to start using it right now and fill it out. So it's super easy to create forms in job form, and you get a ton of templates available in case you want to use job form. But there you go. I hope you like this video and you found out how useful Google Forms is and the templates that they have available so you can start using them right away and start receiving your form submissions. And if you want to check out job form, we'll also leave that link in the description. I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about Google Forms and what you would like to see in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.